The Steamroller Man's Story by Harry J. Rowland and George Hay, 1914 First performed by Bransby Williams Good morning. Blige with the match, sir? Thanks. Mind if I take a few more? It's always a bit of a job, sir, to get this here back at the draw. I can tell by the smell of your pipe, sir, as you knows the right sort of smoke. Thanks, sir. I should smoke this myself, sir, if I wasn't so horrible broke. Engineering jobs ain't what they was, sir, in the days. But I ain't going to brag. When in front of me roller, I'd always a man, sir, to carry a flag. One day the task was entrusted to a flagman, the name of Jeff. Careless bloke, sir, but hard working, and all right, except that he was deaf. One day he was working as usual, when I heard, sir, a sort of a grunt. Then we jolted a bit, and I looked, sir, but I couldn't see old Jeff in front. Then I thought of his being deaf, sir, and I trembled just like a leaf, for I guessed, sir, he'd been extra careless, and somehow had got underneath. He lay in the road, I thought dead, sir, but he moved, I was thankful for that, but bless you, sir, I was staggered when I see as I'd rolled him out flat. Yes, sir, flattened him out like a pancake. All thin like you, understand. As broad as a dozen like you, sir, but only as thick as your hand. At first, sir, he seemed a bit stunned like, and he laid in the road there and grinned. So I helped him up, then started home, sir. Lord, I did have a job with the wind. "'but the breeze kept a-catching him broadside "'and taking him up like a kite. "'So I had to hold on like grim death, sir, "'to stop him from taking flight. "'His family at home they was not, sir, "'and you should have heard his wife. "'Said she'd sooner go home to her mower "'than live with a freak all her life. "'But they took him, sir, into the parlour "'and propped him against the wall, "'and they wanted to put him to bed, sir, "'but they couldn't think how to at all.' Then I thought of folding him up, sir. I had to think everything out. And the next morning we got an hot iron, sir, and ironed his creases out. And we watched him get thinner for months, sir. As he chafed in around him we sat. You see, sir, he lived on flat fish, sir, and even his voice was flat. Well, I worried myself what to do, sir, but it wasn't no good to talk. At last, sir, an idea it struck me. And next day I text Jeff for a walk. And we walks down the road to the yard, sir, where the roller had always stood. And Jeff props himself up on his thin end, sir, and stays like it as well as he could. We knew it was kill or cure, sir, so I shakes hands, sir, and says goodbye. And as I climbed on to the engine, I wiped, sir, a tear from my eye. Then I start, sir, right over Jeff, sir, and the very next thing I see was the roller had rolled out Jeff, sir, to the shape as he used to be. Pleased? I should just think he was, sir, though some of our blokes was annoyed. Jeff, sir, he's carrying a flag, sir, along of the unemployed. He got the sack when they stopped our flags, but he's as well as he's ever been. You can take my word that it's true, sir. The word, sir, of Truthful Jim.'